And my name is Wilfred Billigody. I'm your brother in Christ and fellow servant here in Tuba City. I am on Monday through Friday, uh, 1020 to 12 noon. And it is a joy to be with you this morning. Hey, it is turning into a good morning here. And today is Saturday, March 7th. According to the weather broadcast, it is the return of the blue skies. I grew up in uh, poverty here in the reservation, uh, alcoholic parents, uh, dysfunctional family, got into drugs and alcohol and all the dysfunction that happens on the reservation. I remember uh, one particular night I was uh, sitting on the football bleachers at the lowest I can be in my life and uh, sitting there just looking up in the sky, looking at the, the stars. I, I cried out. I said, man, there's got to be something better than this. You know, looking back, that was my first cry to God. I did meet a beautiful young lady. Her name is Lily. I found out that she's a Christian. Sometimes I would show up at church, I'd sit there in the back row, and um, but God's word wasn't really penetrating my heart. I was just showing up for, for the family's sake. Easter Sunday, 1995. You know, people were coming back from uh, church and getting ready to have the Easter feast and all. And I said, "Man, I don't want to hear about God. You guys go ahead and have your feast. I'm gonna go take a drive up North Tuba here." I got way up there in the sand dunes, way off the road. Uh, so there I was up. Uh, parked on top of a sand dune and I said hey I'm gonna listen to some music and I was flipping through the channels and uh, uh, tuned in to uh, KETBA there wasn't no sermon or nothing going on it was just uh, a group of men talking about uh, Christ he was speaking to me I cried out to the Lord I said Lord uh, I made a mess of my life I need you help me let me tell you there was this big weight I've been carrying around for years. It just disappeared, fell away, and this peace just entered me, this joy. My uncle was, he was different. Um, I could see a glow from his face. His smile was full of energy, and he knew that he was forgiven. As I look back, you know, uh, Jesus pursued me out there in, into that desert, and uh, he rescued me. I've been... Uh, Walking uh, after the Lord, it's not been easy, it's been hard, but uh, always God is faithful. Change lives is what their motto is, not just fill heads. That is a, a direct work of the Holy Spirit in a person's life. Develop that dynamic, uh, vibrant, personal relationship with God. Uh, when that happens, you know, it seems like God's love just flows out of a, out of a person's heart and it spills into other people's lives. It was only through my Uncle Wolfert and through the Spirit of the Lord that I came to Jesus Christ. Going through the spiritual formation process, IBC uh, really influenced me the most. I wrestled with a lot of things. I was uh, really forced to search deep and to search myself where I need to make changes. It just really had a really profound influence on my life. Uh, in those four years at IBC, man, I was growing like leaping bounds than I did in my last 15 years as a Christian. The Lord is just uh, open, opening up so many doors and I'm just excited. I get these uh, feelings that I'm not worthy enough and uh, you know, He's prepared me and He needs me somewhere and uh, I just need to fall in line with, with obedience and submission.